Hello everybody, Terry Terry back again with another video. Yeah guys, uh, I wanted to do this video already when I heard the news because this video will be about Rafael Nadal withdrawing from the US Open, skipping US Open 2020. But I've been so I've been so busy really. I've been so extremely busy. Uh, finally one day off from work uh, so I can do this video today and deliver it to you guys and say what I think of all, of all about all this my thoughts etc 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 and some words about Novak Djokovic as well uh, what this means to him and will will he also now skip the US Open because some of the guys uh, around the world seem to believe that he will do the same as Rafael Nadal all right uh, let's get into this uh, video uh, yeah we got the news a couple of days ago that Rafael Nadal is doing something I didn't believe he will do I did a video about this one week ago uh, where I showed I was pretty confident uh, that uh, pretty convinced I should say <laughs> pretty convinced that Rafa Nadal will not skip US Open he the US Open is his second best Grand Slam tournament after French Open of course he is the defending champion he is chasing history and because of all this he will be in New York I was wrong guys, I was wrong, Inter Interior was wrong, really, really wrong. Uh, big shout out to Daniela, uh, great uh, prediction Daniela there, uh, I have to give you a big thumbs up there, because you were, you were one of them who didn't believe Rafael will, will play US Open, it was a couple of other uh, guys as well. Uh, who believe that uh, but I remember Daniela she uh, she said I still don't believe you will play so big shout out to you my friend uh, but uh, the majority of the people believe that Rafa Nadal will play in my last video I did I because I read all the comments but he we were wrong guys we were wrong guys I was definitely one of them uh, what do I believe? What do I, am I surprised about Rafael Nadal's decision? Am I really surprised? Am I surprised or not? What, uh, guys, to be quite honest, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised because this is not a 250 tournament or 500 or Masters. This is a Grand Slam tournament. This is a Grand Slam tournament Rafael Nadal has won four times, all right? Only one less time than Roger Federer and Jimmy Connors with five. Uh, who have won the tournament mostly, most of all, uh, in the open era, most mostly times. Jimmy Connors and Roger Federer in the open era. Rafa with four. Uh, and he's the defending champion and he is healthy. I always consider Rafa Nadal to be more brave than Roger Federer when it comes to not pulling out from tournaments despite being healthy. We know that Roger has done it a couple of times in French Open. But Rafa Nadal, it is the first ever time he is pulling out from a tournament despite being healthy. Because what I know, he doesn't have any injuries to his body. Because we know that Rafa is... Uh, he has more or less pain everywhere in his body. But at current time, he has not played tennis in 6-7 months. He is healthy what I know but despite that he's skipping the tournament and after reading his what he have said we still don't have the control of the virus in the in the states uh, considering the time being at the moment I rather not travel uh, I consider Rafa Nadal when it comes to the from this big three Djokovic Federer and Nadal to be the most honest one of all these three. I always consider him to be the most honest one. Uh, but in this case, uh, I always believe what he says. I don't always believe what Federer says. I don't always believe what Djokovic says. But when it comes to Rafa, he... 
mostly times I'm 99% sure when he speaks, I always believe him. Not the, that is not the case with the other two, all right? Because I have seen it, I have noticed it, that they two lie a lot, especially Federer. Spe Federer is not always honest in his interviews, especially when he loses tennis matches. He is, uh, guys. And don't jump on the comment section. You cannot fool me. I have seen Federer since 2001, and I know that he is not always honest. Djokovic is more honest than Federer, but Djokovic is not more honest than Nadal. I love Nadal's interviews. He is always brutal honest. I have seen him, I have seen him many times say in front of the camera, in front of the world, when he has said, do you want to face Djokovic or Federer in the Grand Slam Finals? Of course not, I'm not stupid. Why should I want to make my, my life difficult to myself? <laughs> I, want the most, I want the most easiest opponent in the Finals. But if I get those two, I have to accept the challenge. Have we, have we ever seen Federer say like that? Have we ever seen Djokovic say like that? Case closed. But in this case with Rafa Nadal saying I rather not travel because we still don't have any control of this virus he when he speaks like this he shows to me that he's scared of getting sick he's scared of getting his team sick those members that he can take with him now he will not take anyone because he will not travel I don't buy all these things he's saying I think it is two reasons why Rafa Nadal is keeping the US Open I refuse to buy that Rafa Nadal is this kind of a coward. I refuse to buy this. I just cannot accept this in my head. Rafa Nadal not traveling despite being 33 years old. This virus is dangerous. I am had it. It was brutal. I was, I was in the bed for two, three weeks. Two, two and a half weeks I was in the bed. I can barely get up from my bed. I swear to you guys, it was not any virus to be joking around with. But what I know, people with no deadly diseases, people with no, who are not crazy old, people, normally healthy people get through this virus. Thanks God I did it, even though I was in pretty, pretty big dangers there for a while. And Rafa Nadal, I'm not more healthy than, than Rafa Nadal. I'm not more fit than Rafa Nadal. For God's sakes, he, he's a world-class athlete. Despite that, he's saying, I'm not traveling to the United States because we don't have any control of this virus. I'd rather stay home. Uh, I'm not buying all this. It is this is one of the reasons, absolutely, the second reason, it is the schedule. And some of you can say, but he has not played tennis since February, March. Yeah, that's true, but it still is a packed schedule. Some of you can say, but the Madrid, they, they are skipping Madrid. It doesn't matter. They will play Cincinnati and just straight after Cincinnati, they will play US Open. It is three weeks tennis on hard courts where his knees were... were and something he has had some big troubles with his knees in many, many years now will take big damage to play three weeks hardcore tennis. And uh, some of you can say, Rafa, will, it is not any, uh, for certain that he will go deep in Cincinnati. Yeah, it is not certain, that's true. But he, it is Rafa Nadal, the world number two. So the chances are very big that he will go to quarters or semis or finals in Cincinnati. He will go deep in Cincinnati. Then he will go deep in the United States as well, in the US Open, in New York. And what will happen for, with Rafa Nadal? He will play three straight brutal tennis. Yeah, he will have one week off after the US Open in Madrid because Madrid is, they are skipping that tournament. But it still is too damaging for his body, for his burned body. Rafa Nadal, we all know he has had a ton of injuries throughout his career, much more injuries than both Djokovic and Federer. And he has think this, he, 
you don't think that he has speak with his team? You don't think that he has thought about this a lot? Of course he has. This has not been an easy decision. He, he, even, he even admitted that himself. I hate to take this decision. It was not an easy decision to take, but I have to follow my heart. So if this, is, this has been a brutal decision for Ramadan to take. So it is two reasons why he's skipping the, the, United, the, the US Open. First, he's scared. I'm surprised that he's, he's this kind of, that, that he's scared of, of this level. I'm a little surprised to be quite honest because I told you my reason why he shouldn't be this scared. I told you my reason on the beginning of the video. I don't want to repeat myself. And the second reason is the schedule. The schedule is not the dream schedule for, a, for his body. He is not crazy old, but for a tennis player, he's not crazy young either. For a normal human being, he's 34 years old. That is not crazy much. But for a tennis player, 34, 34 years old is much. And if you consider all injuries he has had throughout the years, I understand his decision, guys. I really do. I understand his decision. Even though that I am not happy from this decision, I am not a Rafael Nadal fan. Forget that, guys, you, 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 you people who have misunderstand all my videos throughout the years now. I love Rafael Nadal as a tennis player. I love his attitude. I love his level. He always delivers. When you see Rafael Nadal, it is like you see an action movie. When you see an action movie, you know what you will get. You will get action. When you see Rafael Nadal in a tennis court, you know what you will get. You will get a good high level of tennis. When you see Federer, you don't always know what you will get. You, will, you know that the chances are very big you will get magical tennis. Your chances are very big you will get high level of tennis. But you, always, but you also know that you will get a drama. You will get a thriller. That is not the case with Rafa Nadal. You know, you, when you see Rafa Nadal, you know. If you want to see an action movie, you will get an action movie. If you want, if you want to see Rafa Nadal in a tennis court, you will get high level of tennis. You will not get a drama movie. You will not get a thriller movie. You will not get a romantic movie. That is not the case with Federer. And, in, and in to some degree, that is not the case with Djokovic as well. So, as a big tennis lover that I am, of course, I am not happy from this, from this decision. It is like seeing World Cup without Lionel Messi and without Cristiano Ronaldo. Now we don't have Lionel Messi and we don't have Cristiano Ronaldo in US Open. Lionel Messi, say Roger Federer, Cristiano Ronaldo, say Rafa Nadal. So, of course, I'm not happy from, this, this, from Rafa's decision, but I, 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 I understand him. Even though that, would I do the same if I was in his shoes? Probably not. Uh, I would not do because, you, guys, I'm not Spanish, you know. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this a little later. I'm, I'm, I'm Albanian, uh, and with that, I want to say that I, I'm not saying that we Albanians or we from Balkan are their devils. Not. It is not like the, the way I want to express myself. But we are not generally people who worry way too much. That's why I got the virus, because I didn't care. I was going, friends were uh, inviting me in dinners. I was going with, to uh, see friends in, outside uh, uh, drinking coffee and things like that. I didn't care. I'm like that. I just live my life. I'm not saying that when I drive, I drive a car like a maniac. No, I don't do that. I drive car very carefully. So I'm not a daredevil, but I don't think that, oh, virus can do this and virus can do that. I just, I just, I think with myself that, yeah, I, it is one thing that we never can avoid. We absolutely can never avoid this. It is one thing, and, and, and that is that, the day that we will die we all we all want would know that we will die one day and i will live my life being careful not driving a car like a maniac not take not taking chances with uh, in, in life but uh, i don't live my life being worried day out and day in that is not how i live my life uh, so uh, and uh, that is the 
people of my my culture we live like that uh, so rafa nadal he is spanish so uh, maybe spanning spanning people don't have this kind of uh, uh, attitude in the in the in the in the mentality so uh, he's skipping this tournament i'm not happy i uh, do i understand him yeah i do considering the things the reasons what i said and now some of you uh, think will joke do the same no joke will not do the same and here i'm 100 percent sure I swear to you guys, here I'm 100 percent sure. Maybe I will eat my my words again, like I did last week when I was not I was not 100 percent sure about Nadal. Now I was 95 percent sure uh, because, like I said, I didn't consider Rafa Nadal to be this kind of scary guy. Uh, to be quite honest, I didn't consider him. I always considered him to be the brave uh, a brave person. To be quite honest, but uh, but he doesn't. He's not skipping you so much just because he's scared. No, I don't buy that argument. I really don't do. It has to do with the, with the second reason as well, which I which I mentioned in the video. And Djokovic, no, he has already had this virus to be begin with, and when you have had this virus, you you kind of you cannot get it for for the second time. What I have learned, I have had it, and uh, I have been around people who has been sick, and I I I, I haven't I haven't get the virus for the second time. And the second thing, Djokovic is not his body is not burned out like Rafa Nadal. We all know that he has not had injuries like Rafa Nadal has had throughout his career. So, and the third reason, Djokovic is from Balkan, like myself. He will get to New York. He will get to that plane and travel to New York. I swear to you guys, trust me. He will do that. He will play that U.S. Open. I can. This I'm hundred percent sure. You just mark my words. It, and here, if Djokovic didn't play US Open, that would shock me. Rafa Nadal, he withdrew from US Open. That didn't shock me. I swear to you guys, that didn't shock me. That surprised me? Yes. A little. Absolutely. But that didn't shock me. If Djokovic skips US Open, that will shock me. All the reasons I said. He's not injured like, like Rafa Nadal. He's... He has already had the disease, the, the virus, and he is not from Spain or Switzerland or wherever. He is from Serbia. He is from Balkan. I know how the Balkan people work. I am from Balkan myself, but I'm not Serb. So, Djokovic will play US Open. Trust me, guys. And the sec and one more thing I want to talk about because this video did get long now is. Some of you have uh, I've written different social medias and comments, even on my videos. Com people commenting, "Will Djokovic now be the uh, will win your super?" Guys, look, guys, 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 stop it! Nadal pulling out the US Open will not make Djokovic a higher favorite or a less favorite. Nadal is no threat for Djokovic outside clay. For God's sake, he has not defeated the dude since 2013, seven years outside clay since 2013 US Open. So this doesn't matter at all if that Rafa Nadal has pulled out the US Open. Djokovic is the same favorite. It doesn't matter at all whatsoever. Djokovic's biggest threats are Medvedev, Tsitsipas, team. There you have it. The next gen, even if, if even if team is not the next gen anymore. There you have Djokovic's biggest threats. Not Rafa Nadal, for God's sakes. Rafa Nadal, he has been taking care of him like a puppy. Like a puppy outside clay. Come on, guys! Seven years! Seven freaking years! So this doesn't make Djokovic a higher favorite. Djokovic's biggest problems are Tizibas, Medvedev, team. There you have it. And they and those three guys will for sure play. They will, they will for sure play. And so, my answer to, is Djokovic a bigger favorite now that Rafa Nadal has... He's keeping you sober. No, he's not a bigger favorite. He's not a lesser favorite. He's the same favorite. He's the same favorite. No matter that Rafa Nadal is not playing you sober. Rafa Nadal is not Novak Djokovic's biggest threat in, in hard court tennis or grass court tennis. It is other players. And I mentioned their names. All right, guys? So there you have the answer. So don't make Djokovic a bigger favorite now just because Rafa Nadal is keeping you sober. Because he is not a bigger favorite now. Are you getting that, guys? All right, guys. So there you have it, guys. Because this video is getting 20 minutes long now, I have to go out there. I have some things to do. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care wherever you are in the world, 
and see you next time. Bye-bye.